Now to a case of growing pains in one of Buffalo's most historic neighborhoods. Construction on Allen Street is meant to provide more room for drivers and make it more pedestrian friendly. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ala Araby tells us, the project has some business owners worried. Work on this stretch of Allen Street means no traffic coming through and no parking. Giovanni Centrioni opened his business Trend Up in May of last year. We've definitely had our slow days because of it, and all kind of. We're, I guess we're, everybody's affected by it in some way, you know, because there's less traffic down here right now. Construction on the street also affected Don Tequila's business. Unfortunately, we have seen it slow significantly. Um, we had a short close for a couple of months when ownership changed hands here, and unfortunately, without the traffic up and down the street, not a lot of people are aware that we reopened. And Cafeology has been hit pretty hard. Owner Hamada Saleh says he lost customers, had to let staff go, change business hours, and close the kitchen. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to last in this location. There's no sidewalks, no parking, and it's been like this since the third week of April. Phase one of the project focused on block by block reconstruction of this stretch of Allen Street for four to six weeks at a time. The first block to close to traffic was between Maine and North Pearl, where Cafeology is located. In a statement emailed to 7 Eyewitness News, Commissioner of the Department of Public Works Michael Finn says the city anticipates opening the block between Maine and North Pearl by early September, weather permitting. Saleh says he's looking at options to try and save cafeology and wishes more people would support local businesses. We're just trying to make the same paycheck anyone working for any other company is trying to do. We're, the owners are real people. Phase two of the project would stretch from Delaware to Wadsworth on Allen. In Buffalo, Ala Araby, 7 Eyewitness News.